this is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. This time only comes around once a year, so I get to see some uh, competitors and see some friends I made throughout the years uh, and compete against them uh, in the end, and it's great. I trained uh, six days a week, and I went to the qualifying meets, and I meet the qualifying standards, so I'm able to be here and compete. I like uh, wheelchair track probably the most. Um, what tr tr attracts me to it the most is I, like, I have a very competitive side, and I like going fast, and the track provides me with both of those, so it's great. The awareness is out there and that kids are starting to learn that if you have a disability, yeah, you may have a disability, but don't let that stop you to play sports because you can always just play sports. I found out about adaptive sports. Actually, my third grade teacher, uh, her son is a double amputee that runs, and he's a couple years older than me, so they recommended it for me. We came up for a year and watched them. Then the next year I started competing. Junior Nationals is just so fun. Uh, all my friends are here and I meet new people all the time. Tonight, like, we actually all get to be together for like the one time a year. It gets pretty serious, but then like after a race, you like touch the wall, you look up and like if you're after finish after someone, someone's always trying to shake your hand or say congratulations and then you just sit and talk afterwards. Even if you don't know what sport you want to do or even if you want to compete, I'd say still go for it. You might fall in love with a sport and you might end up loving it or You'll at least meet new people and get more out of it, more insight into the adaptive world.